Under normal circumstances, I would be waist height in water here. Now it is bone dry. In fact, the moisture content of the soil in this area is the lowest it's ever been. Well, there has been precious little water in southern and eastern Africa where El Nino is scorching the earth. The farmers are demanding food aid from the government after 300,000 hectares of farmland was affected by drought, causing crops of rice and corn to fail. Throughout human history, the potato has served as the pillars of nutrition for people. It's made the difference as to whether civilizations have survived or perished. NASA will be working with the International Potato Center. The challenge is finding the right kind of potato from the 4,500 varieties stored at the center. And so this is, uh, this is one of the reasons why we are engaging in this project because we think we'll learn a lot about how these plants can adapt to extreme conditions uh, and those extreme conditions we are going to expect here on Earth. The team will simulate Martian atmospheric conditions in a laboratory using soil from Peru's Pampas de la Hoya desert. We have been doing research in the Peruvian desert for many years now, looking at the very dry soils in the southern part of the country. These are among the most Mars-like soils on Earth. We may identify key genes that make crops more resistant or more uh, robust, or identify strains of crops that can be cultivated to make the plants grow under extreme conditions more vigorously. So that it could have a direct technological benefit on Earth and a direct biological benefit on Earth. If the experiment succeeds, a variety of new potatoes could grow anywhere and help ease world hunger.